As in the whole, the text of this resolution has many fair and constructive points. And I will support it if it didn't have one openly dangerous for Ukraine provision. The devil is in the fourth paragraph of this resolution, which calls upon implementation of the Minsk agreements by Ukraine to amend the Constitution of Ukraine on decentralization. As is well known, it's aimed uh, at implementing Putin's idea of giving a special status to Donbass. I believe that Minsk agreements are contrary to the interests of my country and it's clearly uh, Putin's threat for a civilized world. Minsk agreements undermine our country's independence and unity, in particular because they require holding elections uh, on the Russian occupied territory of Donbass and only after that the restoration of Ukrainian control of our border. This is wrong policy of appeasement of the Russian aggressor and political legalization of the terrorists. It's absolutely unacceptable that the resolution on the functioning of the democratic institutions in Ukraine is artificially mixed with unrelated topic of the Minsk agreements. Therefore, I will not vote for this resolution if this provision is not amended. Besides, the radical party of Oleg Leshko is consistently opposing Minsk agreements from the first day of their conclusion. And the time has proved that we are right. Ukraine has already fulfilled a lot of the requirements in the Minsk agreements and has got nothing but more new victims. Dear European friends, we see that Ukraine is increasingly becoming a bargaining chip uh, in negotiations between uh, you and the Russian aggressors. Therefore, we urge the European community to recognize the mistake of the Minsk format and start looking for resolution of, of the problem in the Budapest Memorandum format. We stand for peace, but based on victory of civilized world over the aggressor. If the peace is achieved at the cost of destructing Ukraine as a unified state, uh, it will be a step to destruction of Europe and creation of a new golden horde, a new era of aggressive Eastern barbarism. Does Europe need this kind of future? Thank you.